moving charges and magnetism learning outcomes of this video are lorentz force velocity selector oersted experiment and finally ampere's swimming rule namaste students this is chalpati faculty in physics now i am going to explain the details about lorentz force velocity selector ampere's law and oersted experiment lorentz force it gives the net force on charged particle if it enters in electric and magnetic field at a time suppose a moving charged particle let us say q is subjected simultaneously to both electric field e and magnetic field b the moving charged particle will experience electric force and magnetic force at a time the force due to electric field we know that is f equals to eq so here suffix e we are using that is fe nothing but force due to electric field that is eq and force due to magnetic field let fm is the force due to magnetic field which is equals to q into v bar cross b bar now if the charged particle is subjected to both electric and magnetic fields then the net force on the charged particle will be the vector sum that is fe plus fm so lorentz force is the net force due to electric field and as well as magnetic field so we can write like this instead of fe eq and as well as instead of fm q into v bar cross b bar so this is the net lorentz force expression now i will analyze the lorentz force by taking different cases case 1 if velocity electric field and magnetic field are collinear that is charged particle moving parallel or anti parallel to the fields so here collinear in the sense all are in same line all all are in same plane so that means angle between them is zero so the magnetic force on the charge will be zero and only electric force will act that is fe equals to eq so here magnetic force will be zero reason the angle between the velocity vector and magnetic field vector zero therefore the force on the charged particle due to magnetic field will be zero hence only the force due to electric field will act on the charged particle that is only f e equals to eq so that you can see in the diagram so all are collinear all are in same plane and are showing in the same direction so here as a example all are in same direction you can consider the velocity in opposite direction also that is anti parallel hence the particle will pass through the field following a straight line path so here force is acting due to electric field so but even then it will follow straight line path why because the force direction is always due to electric field in the same direction of electric field so it will follow a straight line but with change in its velocity momentum and kinetic energy due to force acceleration will come acceleration nothing but change in velocity so velocity changes means momentum changes and kinetic energy changes case 2 if velocity electric field and magnetic field are mutually perpendicular to each other that is charged particle moving perpendicular to both the fields then force on charged particle f equals to we can write fe plus fm so here this is a vector sum why because here may be the electric force and magnetic force on the charged particle in the same direction or may be in opposite direction so that is why here i am mentioning as a vector sum if net force on the charged particle is zero for example electric force acting in one direction 
magnetic force acting in another direction on the charged particle then for suppose both are equal net force will be zero so if f equals to zero then we can write both are equal net force zero that means electric force and magnetic force both are equal and opposite so both we can equate if both are equal we can write those expressions as eq for force due to electric field and force due to magnetic field that is bqv sin theta actually here sin theta also should be there but we know that theta equals to 90 degrees so sin 90 degrees value 1 so that is why only qvb so qq get cancelled in this equation then we can write the expression as velocity v equals to e by b now let me analyze with diagram for suppose a positive charged particle entering into the electric field and magnetic field perpendicularly so here our case is mutually perpendicular velocity of charged particle in electric field magnetic field both sorry all should be perpendicular to each other now if the charged particle is entered immediately due to electric field force will act in the direction of electric field that you can see in the diagram and here magnetic field is pointed outward here with respect to dot and circle that means magnetic field is outward to the display actually outward to the board so here with respect to digital class so it is coming outward to the display now the force due to magnetic field direction you have to analyze now if the force due to electric field force due to magnetic field both are equal then only the velocity v equals to e by b now here you can observe the diagram the force due to electric field we know already it is in the direction of electric field only that is mentioned in the diagram here but force due to magnetic field direction so here magnetic field outward so representation is there here so it is just imagine it is outward this is a 2d diagram so that is why it is looking like just inclined but actually it is coming outward now by using right hand grip rule or right hand thumb rule we can analyze the force direction here the charged particle is moving from left to right so perpendicular to both electric and magnetic fields so with respect to diagram you can analyze so keep your hand as shown in the diagram but your fingers should be in the direction of velocity of the charged particle and afterwards if you close towards the magnetic field so here magnetic field outward so your fingers also first you have to keep parallel to the display means in the plane of the display and afterwards you have to close your fingers towards the outward to the display then as shown in the diagram you will get the thumb direction downward so that means the force due to magnetic field on the charged particle will act downward so here if both are equal and opposite so here both are equal opposite is compulsory according to our consideration so if both are equal then net force on the charged particle is zero so the charged particle will follow as it is straight line path without having any deviation if electric field force is high then the charged particle will go in this direction if the electric field force is less and the magnetic field domination is more then it will follow the path this one now here this concept is useful this principle is used in velocity selector to get a charged beam having a specific velocity so here for a particular velocity which is equals to e by b for that velocity there is no force so without a deviation the charged particle can go so that means all velocities we can filter and we can allow only one particular velocity which is having the value e by b to cross the electric field and to go in as it is straight line path means simply we can say it is a filter 
out of all different velocities we can choose one particular velocity to go in a particular direction that is velocity selector so velocity selector means it is a device consists of perpendicular electric and magnetic fields to get a charged beam having a specific velocity so specific velocity in the sense filter of charged particles it can filter the particular velocity and it will avoid all different velocity charged particles and it will give only selective velocity in a particular direction so that is why we are calling this is as a velocity selector see the diagram consider positive charged plate and as well as negatively charged plate so due to positive and negative charged plate electric field direction from positive charge to negative charge so here electric field direction downward but here our consideration the magnetic field inward now so due to inward magnetic field again just imagine due to the magnetic field inward now direction of force will change again just analyze keep your hand parallel to the display and your fingers should show the direction of velocity and afterwards you have to close your fingers towards the inward to the display so if you close towards magnetic field direction means towards inward then the thumb indicates the direction of force so that you can see in the diagram for example if force due to electric field and as well as force due to magnetic field both are equal then the net force on this positively charged particle is zero so that charged particle will pass the electric and magnetic field without having any deviation so this region is selecting a particular velocity if the charged particle velocity is little differ then the force between these two will change if velocity changes little bit then force mismatch will come then the charged particle will deviate from this path and that will be eliminated only pure particular velocity charged particles only can cross this electric and magnetic field in a straight line and those can reach the target so velocity of undeflected particles we can say v equals to e by b next topic eierstedt's experiment so eierstedt unfortunately identified one effect while he using a current carrying conductor nearby he placed one magnetic needle then he observed one effect so he discovered a major thing that is the magnetic field is associated with an electric current was discovered by eierstedt he is the first person who identified current carrying conductor produces magnetic field so here magnetic needle deflected that he observed so a magnetic needle can be deflected by another magnet so here magnet not there only current carrying conductor so he discovered that maybe current carrying conductor producing magnetic field so that is why the deflection in magnetic field occur so immediately he did the experiment in a proper way and he mentioned in such a way that eierstedt found that when a wire ab carrying current was held over a magnetic needle ns as shown in the figure so ns one magnetic needle such that electric current passed from one end to the wire to the other end so here you can see ab wire so a to b for example current passing then the north pole of the needle got deflected towards west that he identified so magnetic needle near the current carrying conductor get deflected so that deflection also he analyzed in different different cases for suppose if you change the current direction on reversing the current direction in the wire the north pole of the needle got deflected in the opposite direction that you can see in the diagram so here two diagrams we have to compare so that is why i am arranging the diagrams 
again. So you can see if current passing from north to south, first consider this diagram, then the deflection absorbed in the needle towards west. If you change the current direction, see this diagram. So here current passing from north to south, then the deflection of north pole towards east that he observed. So what it may be according to his discovery, current carrying conductor able to deflect a magnetic needle. Generally magnet or magnetic needle will get or will experience a force due to another magnet. But here magnet not there. So with respect to that he concluded one thing that is current carrying conductor producing magnetic field. Later on Biot and Savart two people studied about current carrying conductor and for different shaped current carrying conductor they designed equations also. They designed Biot Savart's law based on that they designed equations also. Thus Oersted's experiment lead to the discovery that when electric current passes through a conductor magnetic field is produced around the conductor that is his conclusion. Next Ampere's swimming rule. So imagine a person swimming along a current carrying wire in the direction of the current facing a magnetic needle below the wire then the magnetic north pole of the needle deflect towards his left hand. So what Oersted identified for that he is giving one rule in which direction the magnetic needle will turn for that he is giving one rule. So for example a swimmer is swimming from south to north for example current is also passing in the same direction then the magnetic needle will turn towards west what Oersted identified so that one so if the current passing from one end to another end and the magnetic needle is there the magnetic needle will turn towards the west according to these dimensions if you change the current direction then the north pole needle will turn towards east so for that he is giving one rule why because this effect is a fixed effect according to the magnetic field generation here the deflection will happen so why it is turning towards in one direction for that you should know the quantity of magnetic field and direction of magnetic field those details you will get in ampere circuital law that we are going to learn in the next class thank you